Hello, my name is Sebastian van der Schrier. I'm a former social anxiety disorder sufferer and a social confidence coach. And in this week, I, I want to pay a special tribute to Dr. Pat Carrington, who passed away a couple of days ago at the respectable age of 95. That's quite an age. And she was one of the pioneers in the EFT uh, world. And she also developed a uh, specific kind of method called the choices method, which is where <clears throat> at its foundation, the um, setup phrase of uh, your basic or gold standard EFT, you know, the original kind of classic EFT was changed. So in the beginning, it always used to be, even though I have this problem, you know, problem could be anything, I deeply and completely accept myself or I deeply and profoundly accept myself. And that deeply and profoundly accept myself then was changed or was suggested as something that you can change by Patricia Carrington. So, you know, you could say, even though I have this problem, I choose to accept how I feel anyway. Or even though I have this problem, I choose to find the insights that I need. Or even though I have this problem, I choose to accept myself without judgment or whatever your choice statement is. And that's very powerful. Uh, you know, I uh, use it sometimes. I have definitely used it a lot. Um, and it's, uh, it's really cool. And, um, you know, she has a lot more uh, amazing things that she brought to the table. But her choices method was uh, one of the most popular ones. Um, and she's kind of most, she was kind of most known for that. Um, also, I interviewed her uh, on my podcast, and um, that was a great interview. She's very, she was very um, frank and open, and didn't hold back. So when I asked her, "All right, so what's the, what's better to overcome your social anxiety, EFT or exposure therapy?" She went full out, you know, and uh, I love that when someone is not considering. Oh, you know what uh, I have these qualifications because she's a uh, she was a qualified psychotherapist and um, anyway she was a real inspiring lady lovely lady I interviewed her when she was 94 and she was still super sharp and um, just as a little tribute to her um, I have uh, caught a small part of our interview and uh, I'm going to share that with you this week. And I think you'll find it very inspiring to hear. So, uh, you know, here we go. W what is, in your opinion, more effective to overcome social anxiety, EFT or exposure therapy? The yes. EFT is hands down more effective. Exposure therapy simply consists of exposing the person, that's why they use that word, to the feared stimulus. Hmm. Look the monster in the face, whether it's spiders flying in an airplane or going to a social occasion of a certain type. You face your fear, you face your fear uh, un undaunted. But unfortunately, for a great many people, they've tried to do that. And that's the old fashioned. It really is an extremely <laughs> old-fashioned uh, therapy because as you see there are many many parents and many teachers and many other people of influence in a, in a child's life who will tell them all oh, just go and get it over with and you know just face it hmm. you'll feel better when you get there hmm. well you might feel worse when you got there and I was a researcher for years they spend a lot of money and, and have a lot of patience in the study, which makes it look more valid. You have to look at the statistics very carefully, and you have to look at the methodology very carefully. It's very flimsy, in my opinion. Real impressive results you can get with EFT. Very fast. I mean, within if it works well, so within seconds, it can reduce anxiety. You feel it all over you. 
you feel it in your body. You feel the sudden uh, quieting down and, and reassuring that goes on when those particular acupuncture points have simply been tapped by your, your fingertips. And it uses that tapping, which this is the ingenious part of it, at the same time that it reminds you of the thing little by little in very gentle, manageable doses. It reminds you of the situation that you fear. Meeting such and such a person in a, in a uh, uh, re- certain restaurant, going to a certain kind of gathering, uh, some, for some people even talking on the telephone, will cause extreme anxiety, and you let a little bit of the anxiety in at the same time that you're doing these quieting techniques, but very gently and non-forcing, and at the same time giving you this a method that is reducing anxiety, calming you, making you feel all is well. Mm. And it ma- makes you feel it on a very deep level, uh, absence of fear and strength and confidence in oneself and love of oneself is a tremendous force. 